Elderly Footscray residents still don't know whether they'll be evicted from their homes to make way for the new regional rail link. The Transport Minister has conceded bureaucrats didn't want to be filmed breaking the news to them yesterday, so they left. More from Jacqueline Freegard. 24 hours late, the doorknock Footscray residents had been fearing finally comes. Black-coated bureaucrats arrive in Buckley Street, telling 26 families they will still have to wait days more to find out if they will be evicted from their homes. Today, Norma received a letter and a visit from the Department of Transport, but despite maps showing the new rail line will go directly through her house, the 65-year-old is no closer to knowing for certain whether she will have to move. Where do I go? D just pitch a tent out in the railway line until they bother to tell me what I'm going to be doing. The 26 residences that have been notified, the overwhelming likelihood is that their property will be required. The Premier says he didn't deliberately keep the news from residents yesterday. And I'm advised that every effort was made to contact those people. But as the government went into damage control, the Transport Minister revealed bureaucrats didn't want to be filmed, so they simply left Buckley Street without delivering the devastating news. News. I'm disappointed and annoyed that any residents in Footscray um, found out information about property acquisition from uh, the media. Almost all of the residents of Buckley Street are elderly and have lived here their whole lives. They're now incredibly confused about their future and say they simply can't afford to move anywhere else. If their houses get acquired, like in the castle, they're not going to be able to afford anything else in Footscray. Jacqueline Freegard, Nine News.